Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back. Jim here from Miles Music Media. So another quick dosage of MuseScore Quick Tips and on today's menu it is Measure Numbers. This is a video for beginners or anyone who needs a refresher. I am using the latest MuseScore up-to-date version as of April 2021. So in this tutorial, by the end, you'll be able to go through the basics and know that going to format style to measure numbers will help you out and then format text to measure numbers will help you out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give some more advanced topics that you might need when you're creating an exercise or maybe you have program notes, what have you. Okay, let's go ahead and discover to get measure numbers on this part here and then you can choose what you'd like to do with them if you want them on every bar, every other bar and so forth. And then what I'm very excited about to share is measure numbers down here. It's really easy. We're gonna click on format. After format, we're gonna go to style. And then this will open up. We're gonna go to measure numbers. We're gonna click on measure numbers here and by default, you won't see the first measure, but I'm gonna check that and then you'll see it appear here, okay? And for this tutorial, I am gonna have measure numbers for everyone so you can see collisions and all that stuff. So I'll later on talk about how to fix that. Okay, I love this feature. It's a simple feature, but I love using it. So under these multi rests I like to put measure numbers here. So let's go. We're gonna go to format and after format, you're gonna click on style and then you're gonna find it up here, the first right under header footer, and then you're gonna click on show measure number range and you can stylize it how you wish. Depending on the part and everything's different, I like to have it there. So that's awesome. Now there's a few ways to deal with collisions in MuseScore. They've done a great job. There's a lot of automatic fixing, so thank you. We have a collision here. I normally just go to textiles because usually I have to do something else too. So we're gonna fix this through textiles for today. We're gonna click on format, go to style, and then we have to go all the way down to textiles. The very, very bottom, we have measure numbers here. And if you do something you don't like, by the way, you can just click on the reset. So we're looking at bar number three. As you can see, there's a slur going through it and we need to fix that. I call this, this is a gym thing. I call this an alignment tool and it looks like this is the farthest away it'll be from the staff. So if we click on this one, you'll see how low it gets. That looks good, but for some reason, if the part's gonna have ledger lines or something, that could get a little messy. What I'm gonna do is use the offset and I am gonna just set this here. I'm gonna go to the Y axis and I'm gonna go to, let's say, go a little more, eyeball it. And obviously this is just a way of me showing you what you can do and how you can navigate to make your music look beautiful. The next tip is gonna be a bit more advanced and it's an important tip because I use this when I create exercises or if you're creating a song sheet or whatnot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset, we're gonna reformat the measure numbers, one through four. So how to do that is you're gonna go ahead and get the palette open, F9, and we're gonna go all the way down to breaks and spacers. So I'm gonna have measure one, two, three, and four, and then here it's gonna to reset to one. Chances are you won't see a measure number here and I'll tell you how to fix that. So we're gonna go here and drag and drop and voila. And awesome, it did it this time. Okay, that's great. So it's on me. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's say if that didn't show, it could be another gym thing. I'm gonna right mouse click and this goes into the next part of the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead, if this was checked, you would not see it there. Perfect segue. This is the perfect segue for me to show you if you don't want a measured numbered. Simple feature, but you might be able to use this in worksheets and in some of your scores and program notes, especially if you don't want measure numbers to begin yet. So right mouse click and go to measure properties. And then you can select if you want to include this in the count like I did earlier. And now you can also change measure numbers around. So all of a sudden this is not two. I clicked up one, so guess what happens? Three. So now we have, this would be nice and confusing, right? But this could be a tool that you might need in some shape or form. Okay, everybody. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. So I have a surprise, a random quick tip because I embrace creativity. So let's say I want to create a worksheet and I'm going to put in a zillion beats in this measure, not a zillion, but I'm going to put a bunch in here and then maybe you'll have students that can go ahead and figure out where the next bar line would be. I'm going to do it and keep it in four, four times. So here I go. I'm going to press the end key and then I'm going to click on control shift and then I'm going to randomly put some pitches down. So then that's a, a, a fun thing to do, whether it's a worksheet or you're composing something. I wish everyone well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone creates great, wonderful music for the world. Bye for now. Take care.